Hi, everybody, and welcome to Trojan Family Weekend. This is um, the presentation from Class to Career. My name is Caitlin Harada, and I am the director for the Viterbi Career Connections Office. Um, and today I'm joined by my colleague, Lillian Barajas, and um, Lillian will be moderating the chat, uh, the chat box. So if you have any questions, you are welcome to chat them to us, and Lillian will go ahead and answer so that everyone can see the answers. Uh, if you feel really comfortable, you are welcome to unmute yourself and ask the question. Um, again, this is a recorded session. So if you don't feel like being on the recording, you don't have to be just keep your camera off and keep your mic muted. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into our presentation. If you have questions, feel free to interrupt me or type them in the chat box. Um, we will also save some time at the end. If you have additional questions, uh, Lillian and I would be happy to answer them for you. So with that being said, hopefully everybody can see my screen. Lillian, can you give me a thumbs up if you see my screen? Perfect. I got a double thumbs up. So today we're going to be talking about from class to career. Um, and this is really about preparing your student or yourself if you happen to be the student um, to be successful uh, after you leave the Turby. And what does that mean and what can you be doing today for future success? So the idea is, is that you are going to start now. Your students should be starting now, um, not only thinking about career, but building a community, um, a community of support, uh, somebody that you can go to when you have questions, um, you know, a group of people that can help lift you up, uh, get you those connections, um, and really support your journey here. The second part is building a career plan. Uh, I would say it's safe to say that the majority of the students that go to an engineering school, especially the Viterbi Engineering School, they're really looking to get a really well-paying job after you graduate. And so um, preparing for that career plan now is going to be an essential part of that post-graduation success. Um, and building your future, because we recognize that your time here is short, that days that you have to work are long. So we want to make sure that when our students leave, they feel very prepared to tackle the professional environment. So let's talk a little bit about where the career planning process starts. And it's really from the very first day uh, that your student arrives on campus, whether they be a first semester um, undergraduate student, master student, or doctoral student, it starts from your first semester here. And you, uh, your student will have the support of faculty, academic advisors, career advisors, um, lots of professional development events, we partner with our employers, and we also highly recommend that your student participates in as many co-curricular activities as make sense for them and as they have time. So I'm going to just spend a brief amount of time on the student engagement side of things. Um, there are offices and Viterbi dedicated specifically to the co-curricular experience. Um, we also have uh, an office of student affairs professionals at the university level as well um, that really do a really excellent job uh, at giving students the opportunity to participate in events and things outside of the traditional classroom. So this is really where the Turby life comes in. This is where the student involvement piece really begins. And we have over 50 Viterbi affiliated student organizations. And so no matter what your student is interested in, we should have a home for them in one of our student organizations, either within Viterbi um, or at the university level. And the great thing about our student organizations is that if, if a student isn't finding what they want, uh, they can always create it. And I think that's something that's really cool. We also engage uh, at, at the very onset of your student's first year, if um, you're an undergraduate student um, participating in the freshman academy courses. Uh, the Career Connection staff does do presentations in the very first semester. So they should be familiar with our office, uh, know a little bit about our services and our events coming up. Uh, for our graduate students, there's the VGSA, which is the Viterbi Graduate Student Association. We partner with them quite frequently as well. So that way we're really touching uh, the experience throughout undergrad and graduate studies. Um, 
there's a ton of different organizations that students can get involved in, um, whether it be, you know, a design team, the Turby Impact Program, um, working with the STEM K through 12 Educational Outreach Program, uh, Women in Engineering and Center for Engineering Diversity. There's so many different things out there. Uh, I would encourage your student to participate because even though it may not seem like it, their co-curricular experiences are great to put on resumes. Um, this is the whole part of being successful post-graduation is not just having that, you know, 4.0 GPA, which is great, and we would encourage students to really concentrate on their studies and do well. Um, but at the end of the day, if a job is what that student is seeking, it's not the only factor that plays into post-graduation success. So now I wanna jump into this slide. Um, and this is really all about the career connections programs and services that we offer. Um, and I'm gonna kind of quickly go through some of this stuff. As you have questions, um, please feel free, again, unmute yourself or use the chat box and I'd be happy to go through it um, a little bit more in depth. And then Lillian is also going to be uh, helping to facilitate and moderate the, the chat box. Um, so the first thing that all students in Viterbi should be accessing is Viterbi Career Gateway. Viterbi Career Gateway is our one-stop shop for almost all of the events and all of the services and all of the job postings that students will have access to. So not only is this a job and internship uh, job board where students can apply for positions, but this is also where they're going to find some different resources in the resource library. This is where they're gonna find materials on mock interviews or how to write a resume, or it could be external resources if they are interested in finding a job um, somewhere abroad. We do have, you know, different services and subscriptions that either Viterbi has subscribed to or the university has subscribed to that are all going to be found in Viterbi Career Gateway. Now, when it comes to Viterbi Career Gateway, um, this is also where they're going to schedule advising appointments with the Viterbi Career Advisor. And so um, these are going to be one-on-one -on -one appointments. Typically, they're about 30 minutes long and they're pre-scheduled and they can range in topics from, I don't know where to start my job search to, I have several offers or I have to negotiate my salary, how do I do that? Um, so we really like to meet with students and walk them through the entire process from the beginning of their first application all the way through that salary negotiation and acceptance piece. Um, we also have drop-in advising hours. Uh, one of the things that is really exciting this year is we've been able to expand the number of hours that we have for drop-in advising. So we have advising hours Monday through Thursday from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. and Fridays from 2 to 5 p.m. Um, and these are great places for students if they don't necessarily want to schedule an appointment and wait a couple of days. Um, maybe they just have a really quick question and they don't think they need a 30-minute appointment. Um, or if they want a resume review. This is where uh, all of that stuff happens because it's a first come first serve basis. They can just drop in really quickly, ask their question and then be on their way. And we do host our drop in sessions and our advising appointments through the Zoom platform. It's the platform that students should all be familiar with because the majority of their classes uh, are probably offered on Zoom at this point. We are also doing workshops and our workshops range again the gamut of the career and professional development uh, spectrum. So we have resume review appointments, uh, workshops, excuse me. Uh, and we also have workshops that are dedicated to how do I navigate the Turby Career Gateway. That way they are familiar with the platform. They know how to use it. They can set up a, a job search engine, which will automatically email them every time something new is posted or daily or weekly or however they set it up. Uh, that's all gone through in some of our workshops. We do uh, specialized workshops for international students. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the makeup of the engineering school, we do have a large international student population and we wanna make sure that our students, all of our students are really prepared for uh, 
living and working in the United States and what the job search process looks like, um, given the different cultures that they may sometimes encounter in the United States that might be that might be different from their home country. Um, we will also do interview workshops. We will do salary negotiation workshops. Uh, we try to follow our workshops along with the recruiting cycle for each semester. So we will offer the same workshops again uh, every semester and kind of go through the cycle again. One thing I do want to point out is that uh, we recognize that not all of our students are located in California. So we've designed our workshops to be able to accommodate really students that are on the East Coast or East Asia or really around the world because we're offering them at different times, some as early as 7 a.m. our time, um, which tends to be evening in China and India. We also are recording each of these sessions and posting them on the Turby Career Gateway. So if a student isn't able to participate in a live session, they're always welcome to go to the Turby Career Gateway, click on the link and be able to watch the session that was already given. Similarly, um, most of our workshops tend to be between 45 minutes and an hour long. And we also recognize that there's not a lot of students that uh, really want to watch an hour long recorded session. And so to address that issue, we also have, um, we'll call them mini workshops that are posted on our website. And they're, e each one is about um, three to five minutes long. And it uh, dissects kind of the, little chunks of each of our workshops. So for example, we have a resume workshop. Uh, the students are welcome to attend in person, watch in a pre-recorded session, or watch in three different chunk videos that we have posted on our website. Uh, so the idea behind that is we want to make sure that students have access to information in a way that would be uh, accessible to them but also give enough information and context around each topic so that they feel very comfortable with with each topic. Um, I mentioned that we have this quick little five minute video workshops and those are uh, affiliated with our online toolkit. So a lot of the workshops that we give, there's either a handout or there's an exercise or there's some additional work that can be done. And so we've posted all of that information in our online toolkit. And this is really a self-service section. So if a student doesn't even wanna watch a five minute video, which is totally fine, go to the toolkit, download a, a handout, download a PDF of, of resources. That way you still have the information just delivered in a different way that might be more manageable for you. Now, we also recognize that towards the end of the semester, or actually towards the beginning of the semester, sometimes students are still trying to acclimate to you know, their classes, maybe there's midterms, maybe they're just not able to participate in as many things as they thought they they could do. And so what we've done is we've packaged all of our workshops into a one day seminar that we call the Turby Career and Internship Boot Camp. And so boot camp is offered at the end of each academic semester as a as a catch all. So for those students that just felt really busy, they weren't able to engage in some of those workshops. We offer them all day long on boot camp day. Uh, the next session is going to be on November 13th. So if your student hasn't found their dream job or internship uh, by then, we recommend that they attend boot camp. That way they're able to get some of that career information, the professional development that they may need to just kind of give them a kickstart um, for the spring semester. We do offer a variety of signature events. Uh, so every fall we offer the How to Get Hired Professional Development Series, and this is a series where we invite our employers to provide professional development workshops, as well as a signature event. Uh, so this year, the How to Get Hired series was four different days. We had an employer presented professional development workshop, as well as one-on-one -on -one resume reviews and one-on-one -on -one, uh, employer mock interviews. And it was a really great um, event. Even though we hosted it online, uh, we used the Zoom platform and it seemed to work out pretty well. We were able to use the breakout rooms in order to pair students up directly with employers um, to conduct the resume reviews and the mock interviews. We also have our career and internship expo. Um, expo is not just a career fair. 
Expo uh, is a series of events that students can participate in along with our employer partners uh, as part of the recruiting season. So this fall, we actually offered 24 hours of virtual career fair. Uh, this gave access to our employers and our students around the world to be able to participate in live recruitment, uh, which was really great. We also offered, I believe it was 22 hours of virtual Trojan Talks. And Trojan Talks are um, company information sessions. So this is a session that the company will host specifically for our engineering students. And so that's a four day event. Um, sometimes it's a little bit longer. It kind of just depends on how much we build out in the schedule and how interested employers are. Again, all of these events uh, can be hosted virtually and we've been doing that this fall and we'll see what happens next fall. Hopefully we'll, I'll be back in person by then. Um, some other events that we have been able to host virtually is our Viterbi industry networking events. This year, uh, we just had one on the 5th. We'll have our next one on the 12th. And this is where we connect students with both employers or organization representatives, but also the Turby alumni. So it's a great place for students to really build their networks, to get connected with people that are in the industries that they're interested in. And it's an easier process than trying to reach out to people on LinkedIn a lot of the times because there's an automatic association with USC and with the Turby and the idea that this is going to be a mutually beneficial relationship for both the student and for the alumni or industry representative. And then in February, we have um, more employer mock interviews. And so that's going to be something that we will offer um, just after our spring current internship expo. Um, so have your student make sure they're reading their newsletter. It gets sent out every Wednesday um, from the vcareers at usc.edu email address. We would encourage everybody to just check in on your student, make sure they're taking a look at that because uh, that's where we send out a lot of the um, more more important things that they need to be aware of that's coming up that week, including events uh, both hosted by us, but also events that employers are hosting that they can also attend. So other events and programs I did already mention our company information sessions, which we call Trojan Talks. Um, this year we're offering something called on campus interviews um, because we're not on campus. We are offering uh, our employers and our students the ability to still participate in interviews that are hosted through the Turby Career Gateway, um, but utilizing a platform such as Zoom or WebEx or BlueJeans or whatever the employer happens to be using for their video, video conferencing. Um, similarly, we're offering company office hours and we're hoping to see if we can get together a virtual trek for the spring semester. Um, so this is something that we would normally offer as an experience for students to physically go to a company's location and meet with some of the employees there. Um, they often have a tech talk or something really exciting that happens on site. And so we're going to try our best to replicate um, a track, but in a virtual setting while we are all working off campus. So one of the things I just want to highlight um, is our career plans. This is part of our um, online toolkit that we offer to students. And there's a career plan, whether you're an undergraduate, a master's or a doctoral student, there's a plan that you can download um, when it comes to the undergraduate and the master's students. It's a semester by semester plan of some of the things that you can and should be doing that semester in order to set yourself up for future success. Um, our doctoral students, the plan looks a little bit different um, and it sort of depends on how long your doctoral uh, process is going to take and what your plans are um, post-graduation, whether you find yourself going into academia or whether you want to go into industry. So that's something I, I wanted to highlight because that's something that you can work with your student on right now um, and kind of just check the box, make sure that they're doing all the things that, you know, they, they can possibly be doing in order to set themselves up for success. So I wanted to dig in a little bit into our on-campus recruiting um, and some of our first destination information because I know this is probably something that's pretty important to you. It should, it's probably important to your student to have some of this information of, 
you know, what are students doing and where are they going and what's happening after they leave the Turby? So I did manage to pull some numbers from this last academic year and wanted to share them with you. Um, so in the 2019-2020 academic year, uh, full-time and internship job postings, that's that first circle right there, we had over 3,000 positions posted for our undergraduate students and, you know, about 3,000 posted for our graduate students. So there really were quite a few opportunities. And this is all things that were just posted on the Turby Career Gateway. And one thing to note is Gateway isn't an aggregating system. An employer actually has to say, the Turby is my key school and I want a Viterbi student to fill this position. So that's pretty exciting because you can see there are so many employers that are targeting our, our USC students, our Viterbi students. And so that's a great feeling because only USC students, only Viterbi students, to be more precise, had access to these positions that were posted. Um, a couple of other numbers I wanted to share was that we had almost 200 uh, unique employers participate in our career and internship expos last year. And we had over 100 Trojan Talks or company information sessions. Um, but we also do a number of other special events, and these are mostly driven by our employer partners and how they want to engage with our student population. And so we've had networking events, breakfast, lunches, and dinners, coffee chats, uh, tech talks, career panels, coding challenges, hackathons, showcases, and a few other events um, as well that were scheduled through our office specifically to engage with our Viterbi students. And so, uh, I would encourage your students to still participate in these events because they're still going on. They're just going on in a virtual setting. So I also wanted to kind of bring up some of the industries that recruit um, at USC, at Viterbi specifically. And so I have uh, a list of companies for each industry, just as you know, some of the, the top companies that hire our students. Um, I'll have a few more slides about um, more specifically some of the companies that hire. Um, so this was is also a commonly asked question, you know, where do the Turby students go after they graduate? You know, are they going to jobs? Are they going to higher education? What else are they doing? And so you can see from this pie chart, almost 80% of our Viterbi graduates go on to find a job. And so I do want to note that this is an aggregate of our undergraduate and graduate students. The populations break down slightly different if you're looking at them separately versus aggregate. Um, and when it says other, that 3% other, that could be volunteer work, that could be going into the military, that could be, you know, they decided not to pursue work at this time, like they're taking some time off. So the other category kind of is a hodgepodge of variety of things that they may be doing outside of uh, graduate school or uh, getting a position. This next graph I wanted to show was really where are students finding their jobs? Um, how are they finding those positions after they graduate? And this is not, um, so this is taking that 79% and really looking at their sources, not looking at the percentage that are doing other or graduate school. And as you can see, a good chunk of them are going directly to the employer websites. And this is probably one of the easier ways of finding a position because employers are just a Google search away. Their career page um, is just a Google search away. So that's helpful um, to just be able to, to find a job online, apply to it, get an interview and you land it. Um, however, it is also important to note that 20% of the full-time jobs uh, come from internship conversions, which is why we also like to stress the importance of internships because they do and can lead to full-time jobs post-graduation. We also have a pretty robust uh, internship and co-op program. So, uh, we have different engineering courses that students can take if they decide they want to pursue internships for credit. However, domestic students do not have to enroll in an engineering internship course to accept a position. So they can either do it just on their own um, or they can pursue credit for their internship. And depending on their academic department, 
um, the credit may or may not apply towards their degree requirements. So I would encourage your student if they're going to get an internship and they're interested in getting some uh, academic credits for their internship that they uh, talk to somebody in our office in the Viterbi Career Connections office and we're happy to walk them through their different options for engineering internship courses. Um, but also they may not necessarily need that course if they're a domestic student. So I also wanted to bring up some kind of interesting information of the top 20 Viterbi employers. And this is for the class of 2020. So the students that just graduated this past May, um, these are the top 20 companies that hired them. Um, and then I also have on this slide the annual um, average salary for our students. And this is in US dollars. I do um, want to say that some of our students are not uh, living and working in the United States. So salaries in US dollars don't always convert exactly the same, especially if you look at the cost of living in different countries. Um, but this is again for the class of 2020. You can see our bachelor students made over $90,000 on average for their starting salary, which is pretty good. When you look at the National Association of Colleges and Employers, they put out statistics annually about what the national average is. I just looked at it today. And uh, for undergraduates in engineering, the average salary was just under $70,000. And this is a trend that we've seen year over year is that a Viterbi graduate student, or a Viterbi graduate, excuse me, will make um, more on average than the national average. So that's kind of just a, an interesting point to note about students that graduate um, from Viterbi. So really, uh, this whole presentation was about class to career. And as, a, as I mentioned, success doesn't just start in your last year or in your junior year when you're trying to find an internship. It's really starting from day one. It's getting involved in those co-curricular experiences in internships and really checking in with the Viterbi Career Connections Office along the way to make sure that they're on the right path following the career plan that we have posted in the online toolkit. Um, but I, I do want to assure all the families out there that we're here. We're excited to be working with your students. Um, we want everyone to leave feeling like they've had a very successful undergraduate or graduate experience from Viterbi. Um, so I posted on here our, our contact information right now because we are virtual. The best way to get in touch with us is um, through email at vcareers at usc.edu. We also encourage you to come check out our website, see the different events that we have going on, encourage your students to participate, um, whether it be an advising session, an expo, or a mock interview, which I know sometimes can be kind of intimidating for students to practice their interview skills, but um, it's definitely a, a great experience for them to have um, in order to practice those skills before they get in front of a, a, a live employer that is, you know, has a job on the line. We're also on social media, so if you just go to um, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, um, we're a hashtag for Careers, you're welcome to follow us on all of our channels as well, if you wanna know what's going on. Um, our Instagram, we post daily, sometimes more than once. Um, and so that's a really great source. If you're on Instagram, just give us a follow and you'll be able to be up to date on what's happening for the week, um, what's happening that day, what, what's going on for Tip Tuesday. Um, and I, I would just encourage you all to, to follow us on Instagram, uh, get a little bit of entertainment and find out what we're doing. Um, so that's kind of the end of my session. I know that we're going to be staying on here for a few more minutes to answer any of those questions that are coming in, but I also wanted to pull up the schedule. There's still a few great sessions that you can attend. Um, there's one tonight at 7 p.m., which is the um, Table for Six Mixer for graduate families. And tomorrow morning, we have our 10 a.m. session, Technology, Innovation, and Entrepreneurship session with Dr. Ellis Meng. Um, she's awesome. I would encourage you to go to that session. And there's a few more sessions that you can go to tomorrow. Mark your calendars, attend the Zoom. It will be um, a great time for you.
And with that being said, I want to thank you so much for attending our presentation today from class to career. Um, again, my name is Caitlin Harada. I'm the director for the Turby Career Connections and I'm really excited to be working with your students this year and hopefully in the years to come. Um, and hopefully they will be very successful having followed the career plan. Um, so thanks for attending the session. Really appreciate it and fight on everyone. I am currently um, still answering any questions that you have through the chat, but feel free to stay on as Caitlin mentioned um, if you want to just chat with us as well.